Featured on today's NRA Gun of the Week, the Uberti Wild Bill 1851 Navy Conversion Revolver allows today's Wild West fans to step back in time with an authentic looking firearm that's chambered in a modern caliber. As part of Uberti's Outlaws and Lawmen lineup, the Wild Bill joins a collection of revolvers all based on the guns used by the famous and infamous characters of the American West. Named, of course, for the famous Wild Bill Hickok, this 1851 Navy conversion is patterned off the pair of ivory-handled Colt 1851 Navy revolvers that Hickok was known to carry. Well, Wild Bill's original 1851 Navy revolvers were cap and ball designs, Uberti elected to create an easier shooting example that shares a similar look to the real deal while making it more accessible to the casual shooter. This particular example is based off the later Richards Mason pattern conversions, which were around while Wild Bill was alive. The loading arm typically found on cap and ball revolvers has been eliminated, having been replaced by an ejection rod housing located on the right side of the barrel, similar to where it would be placed on the famous 1873 single action army. Also modified on this conversion revolver is the cylinder itself, as well as the frame shield. Now, a loading gate hinges open on the right side of the frame, exposing the bored through cylinder capable of accepting standard 38 special or 38 Colt rounds. Now, shooters can load and fire this attractive looking conversion example just like any traditional revolver based on the Colt single action army. Other than these mechanism modifications, the Uberti Wild Bill 1851 Navy appears similar to the guns carried by its famous namesake. The octagonal barrel, trigger guard, cylinder, and grip frame are all treated with an attractive blued metal finish. The frame itself, along with the hammer and loading gate, are finished with a beautiful case-hardened treatment. Of course, like Hickok's famous revolvers, this example is finished off with a pair of imitation ivory grips, making it look as close to the real thing as possible. At the range, this 1851 Navy conversion was a hoot to shoot, providing all the fun of shooting a cap and ball style revolver without any of the frustration or time suck of manually loading powder and ball. You still get the classic sight picture obtained only when the revolver is fully cocked, which reveals a V-notch at the top of the hammer face that aligns with the brass bead front sight at the other end of the gun. Those who aren't used to shooting a traditional single action revolver may find it frustrating to have to poke out individual spent cases and load single rounds. And the open top design means that this revolver isn't strong enough to handle heavier rounds, such as plus P loads. But for a shooting experience that harkens back to the glory days of the Wild West, it's hard to go wrong with a design that looks the part but shoots modern day rounds. For more information on the Uberti Wild Bill 1851 Navy Conversion, visit uberti-usa.com and stay tuned to AmericanRifleman.org for more on guns and gear.